confronting the witness with potentially contrary uh, literature, right? So sometimes uh, counsel can read from um, contrary literature uh, in cross-examining the expert. And that, that comes up particularly when the expert has admitted that, uh, that a certain source is authoritative. Right, so we, we covered that a little bit yesterday, but on cross, I could literally, without warning, I don't have to give you notice, I don't have to get retaining counsel notice, I, I can just come up to you with that text that you said was authoritative and start reading from it and saying, you know, you said these are the four signs of, uh, 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 that, that would warrant referring somebody for, meninge for a, a spinal tap. Well, this is what, you know, this is what the, 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 your authoritative source says. That you know that these are the, that these are the sources, or th that these are the signs and symptoms, and it, it can be a very effective way to deflate an expert witness. So, if you have in the past, has anybody here ever made a statement that a certain medical test, text or treatise is, was authoritative? Anybody here at all? Okay, so don't be surprised if at some point in the future you might be f faced with that. Okay, but. But one thing to keep in mind is that, you know, some attorneys are not above reading things out of context, all right, saying things and, and maybe leaving out key parts. So don't be so quick to admit that, yeah, it is contrary. I'd have to see that. I want to see, I want to see uh, in what context that statement was made before you quickly agree yes or no, okay? I know that the yeah the that attorneys have a different definition. Unfortunately, their definition is what allows them to cross-examine you with that text. That's the problem, right? The problem is that you're in their world. When you're in this world of litigation, you're in their world. Okay? So don't be so quick to agree that it's contrary. Ask to see it. Literature is not the final word, right? So literature is one source, but that's not how you practice medicine. You look at the patient too, you rely on the facts. Um, and, and sometimes, it, many times, literature has qualifiers, disclaimers that say, oh, we're a guide, you also have to have clinical correlation before you rely on this. The, the, the problem is that the word reliable is sometimes used interchangeably with the word authoritative in the legal world. So the, the word reference, I think, is a safer word. Uh, you know. Uh, um, if, if your opinion, you know, if you have citations to the medical literature in your report and, you're, and you know, you cited that, that report, uh, sorry, you cited that citation in support of your opinion, um, you know, th that, that was a reference that supports your, your opinion as opposed to I relied on that, okay?